Attention, attention. This is an emergency message. Yellowstone National Park employees and guests, residents of the surrounding area. This is an official emergency message from the Federal Center. Please listen carefully and follow all the instructions. Imagine waking up to a world where the sky turns dark, ash rains down like snow, and panic spreads faster than the lava beneath Yellowstone. Yellowstone has erupted, the headlines scream. This isn't a scene from a disaster movie. It's a very real possibility. What would happen next? From immediate devastation to long-term global chaos, we'll explore the terrifying reality of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. This is one scenario you can't afford to ignore. And while you're watching, if you have any video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment below. Yellowstone National Park, spanning across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, is one of the most iconic natural landscapes in the United States. Famous for its geothermal features, including geysers like Old Faithful, hot springs and bubbling mud pots, Yellowstone sits atop a massive volcanic hotspot. But beneath the park's stunning beauty lies a sleeping giant, the Yellowstone Supervolcano. Unlike typical volcanoes which form steep-sided cones, a supervolcano like Yellowstone is characterized by a massive caldera, a large depression formed after a major eruption. The Yellowstone caldera measures about 30 by 45 miles, a testament to the sheer scale of its volcanic power. According to researchers, historically the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years. Each eruption released vast amounts of ash and magma, significantly altering the global climate and environment. According to researchers, the most recent eruption, approximately 640,000 years ago, ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, creating the current caldera and impacting the Earth's climate for decades. The park's geothermal activity today is a constant reminder of the magma chamber that still lies beneath Yellowstone. Scientists closely monitor the area for signs of volcanic activity, using various techniques to track ground deformation, gas emissions, and seismic activity. Supervolcanoes, unlike their smaller counterparts, have the capability to produce eruptions thousands of times more powerful. The term supervolcano is used to describe a volcano that can produce an eruption with ejecta greater than 1,000 cubic kilometers. To put this in perspective, a supervolcanic eruption can discharge enough material to cover entire continents in ash and cause dramatic changes to the global climate. Supervolcanoes form over hot spots, areas where magma from deep within the Earth's mantle rises towards the surface. In Yellowstone's case, the magma chamber is estimated to be about 60 kilometers long, 30 kilometers wide, and up to 10 kilometers deep. This chamber of molten rock lies beneath the park, heating the surface and fueling the geothermal activity that Yellowstone is known for. A supervolcanic eruption occurs when pressure from the magma chamber builds to the point that the overlying crust can no longer contain it. This pressure is often caused by the accumulation of gases within the magma. When the pressure is finally released, it results in a massive explosion, ejecting vast amounts of ash, pumice, and volcanic gases into the atmosphere. Regular volcanoes typically have a central vent through which lava flows. In contrast, supervolcanoes often do not have a central vent. Instead, they have a large caldera, a depression formed when the ground collapses into the emptied magma chamber after an eruption. This caldera can be tens of kilometers in diameter. Yellowstone has experienced three major eruptions in its history, each shaping the landscape dramatically. The eruptions occurred approximately 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago. Each of these eruptions was far more powerful than any volcanic eruption in recorded history. Today, Scientists monitor supervolcanoes like Yellowstone using a combination of ground-based and satellite technologies. These include seismic activity, ground deformation, gas emissions, and hydrothermal activity. Earthquakes often precede volcanic eruptions as magma moves towards the surface. Changes in the ground level can indicate the movement of magma. Increased levels of volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide can signal an impending eruption. Changes in the park's geysers and hot springs can provide clues about what's happening below the surface. While predicting the exact timing of a supervolcano eruption is challenging, continuous monitoring helps scientists understand the potential signs of increased volcanic activity and provides valuable data to help mitigate the impact of such an event. Understanding the science behind supervolcanoes is crucial for preparing for their potential eruptions. 
the magnitude of their power and the far-reaching consequences of their eruptions make them one of the most significant natural threats to our planet. The study of supervolcanoes not only helps in disaster preparedness, but also provides insights into the Earth's geological processes and history. Supervolcanoes serve as a stark reminder of the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of our planet. Their eruptions, although rare, have the potential to reshape continents, alter climates, and affect life on Earth in profound ways. By studying supervolcanoes like Yellowstone, scientists hope to better predict and prepare for future eruptions, minimizing their catastrophic impacts on humanity and the environment. The immediate effects of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be catastrophic, causing widespread devastation and chaos. As the superheated magma bursts through the surface, the eruption would begin with a massive explosion, sending ash, pumice, and volcanic gases high into the atmosphere. This initial blast would devastate the surrounding areas, obliterating everything within a radius of several miles. Pyroclastic flows, which are fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter, would sweep across the landscape at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour, incinerating everything in their path. Ash fallout would be one of the most immediate and widespread effects. The eruption could eject billions of tons of ash into the atmosphere, which would then spread across vast areas, potentially covering much of North America. Cities and towns downwind from Yellowstone could be buried under meters of ash, leading to the collapse of buildings, the clogging of machinery, and the contamination of water supplies. Inhalation of ash could cause severe respiratory problems and even death for people and animals in the affected areas. The massive injection of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere would create a volcanic winter, drastically reducing temperatures worldwide. The ash cloud would block sunlight, causing global temperatures to drop by several degrees. This sudden cooling would disrupt weather patterns, leading to shorter growing seasons and widespread crop failures. The reduction in food production could lead to severe food shortages and famine, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. The eruption would also have immediate impacts on air travel. The vast ash cloud would make flying hazardous, leading to the grounding of flights across North America and potentially other parts of the world. Ash particles can damage aircraft engines and pose significant risks to air travel, as seen during the 2010 Ijafjalla Jokul eruption in Iceland, which caused widespread flight cancellations across Europe. Infrastructure would suffer extensive damage. Power lines would be brought down by the weight of ash, leading to widespread blackouts. Roads and highways would become impassable, hampering rescue and relief efforts. Communication networks would be disrupted, making it difficult for authorities to coordinate responses and for people to contact loved ones. In the immediate aftermath, emergency services would be overwhelmed. Hospitals would be inundated with patients suffering from burns, injuries, and respiratory issues. The sheer scale of the disaster would stretch resources to their limits, making it challenging to provide adequate care and support to those in need. The environmental impact would be severe. Rivers and lakes could be choked with ash, killing fish and other aquatic life. Forests and farmlands would be buried, leading to the loss of wildlife habitats and agricultural land. The sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere would form sulfuric acid droplets leading to acid rain, which would further damage crops, forests, and bodies of water. Overall, the immediate effects of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be devastating, with far-reaching consequences for both the local and global environment. The combination of explosive force, ash fallout, and volcanic winter would create a disaster of unprecedented scale, affecting millions of lives and causing widespread destruction. In the short term, a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would have dramatic and far-reaching global consequences. One of the most immediate effects would be a significant drop in global temperatures, known as a volcanic winter. The massive amount of ash and sulfur dioxide ejected into the atmosphere would block sunlight, leading to a temporary cooling of the Earth's surface. This sudden drop in temperature could last for several years, disrupting weather patterns and leading to severe climatic changes. Agriculture would be heavily impacted by the volcanic winter. The reduction in sunlight and lower temperatures would shorten growing seasons and reduce crop yields worldwide. This would lead to food shortages and increase the risk of famine, especially in regions already vulnerable to food insecurity. The economic impact would be severe, as agricultural production declines and food prices skyrocket. Transportation would also face significant disruptions. The ash cloud would pose a major hazard to aviation, grounding flights, 
and disrupting global air travel. This would affect not only passenger travel, but also the transportation of goods, leading to supply chain interruptions. The resulting economic losses from grounded flights and disrupted trade would be substantial. Health issues would arise from the widespread ash fall. Inhaling volcanic ash can cause serious respiratory problems, particularly for individuals with pre-existing conditions such as asthma or chronic bronchitis. The ash would contaminate water supplies, leading to further health risks from drinking and using contaminated water. The environmental impact would extend beyond immediate destruction. Acid rain, formed from sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere, would damage forests, crops, and aquatic ecosystems. This environmental degradation would have long-term consequences for biodiversity and ecosystem services. Overall, the short-term global consequences of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be profound, affecting climate, agriculture, transportation, health, and the environment, leading to a cascade of challenges that the world would need to address urgently. The long-term global consequences of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be profound and enduring impacting various aspects of life and the environment for decades, if not centuries. One of the most significant long-term effects would be the persistent climatic changes resulting from the massive injection of volcanic gases into the atmosphere. The sulfur dioxide released would combine with water vapor to form sulfuric acid aerosols, which can remain in the stratosphere for years. These aerosols reflect sunlight away from the Earth, leading to prolonged cooling known as volcanic winter. The last major eruption of Yellowstone, which occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, caused global temperatures to drop by several degrees, and a similar event today could result in substantial cooling, disrupting climate patterns worldwide. This prolonged cooling would have devastating impacts on global agriculture. Shorter growing seasons and reduced sunlight would lead to consistent crop failures, causing widespread food shortages and increasing the risk of famine. The agricultural sector would struggle to adapt to the new conditions, leading to economic instability, especially in countries heavily reliant on farming. The decline in agricultural productivity would also impact the global economy, causing food prices to rise and exacerbating inequalities between different regions. The environmental impacts would be equally severe. Ecosystems that rely on specific climatic conditions would be disrupted, leading to loss of biodiversity. Forests, wetlands, and other natural habitats would suffer from acid rain, which is formed when sulfuric acid aerosols return to the Earth's surface. This acid rain would damage vegetation, soil, and water bodies, further stressing ecosystems already struggling to adapt to the new climate. The long-term recovery of these ecosystems would be slow, and some species might face extinction if they cannot adapt quickly enough. Human health would be another critical area affected by the eruption. The volcanic ash that blanketed large areas would continue to pose respiratory risks long after the initial eruption. Chronic respiratory conditions could become more common, particularly in regions closest to the eruption. Additionally, the contamination of water supplies with ash and acidic compounds would pose ongoing health risks, requiring significant resources to manage and mitigate. The social and political ramifications of a supervolcano eruption would also be profound. The strain on resources caused by food shortages, economic instability, and health crises could lead to social unrest and conflict. Governments would face immense pressure to provide aid and maintain order, and international cooperation would be crucial in managing the global fallout. The eruption could also lead to mass migrations, as people flee affected areas in search of more stable environments, further complicating the social and political landscape. Economically, the long-term impacts would be significant. The cost of rebuilding infrastructure, healthcare, and agricultural systems would be immense. Insurance companies would face unprecedented claims, and many businesses, particularly in the tourism and agriculture sectors, would struggle to recover. The economic shockwaves would ripple through global markets, potentially leading to a prolonged economic downturn. In summary, the long-term global consequences of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be far-reaching and complex, affecting climate, agriculture, ecosystems, human health, social structures, and the global economy. The world would need to invest heavily in adaptation and mitigation strategies to cope with the new realities brought about by such a catastrophic event. In summary, the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would be one of the most devastating natural events in human history. From the immediate cataclysmic effects such as pyroclastic flows, ashfall, and local devastation, 
to the far-reaching consequences like volcanic winter, global cooling and massive agricultural disruptions, the impact would be unprecedented. The immediate aftermath would see widespread destruction and chaos, while the long-term effects would reshape global climate, economy, and society. Scientists continuously monitor Yellowstone and other supervolcanoes to better understand their behavior and to improve predictive models. While the exact timing of such an eruption remains uncertain, the potential consequences make it imperative to prepare and develop strategies for mitigation and response. Understanding the science behind supervolcanoes and the potential impacts of an eruption is crucial for global preparedness. Investments in monitoring, research, and international cooperation can help mitigate the catastrophic effects of such an event. As we continue to explore the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of our planet, it is essential to remember the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for the worst-case scenarios. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content. Stay informed and stay prepared, because understanding our planet is the first step in protecting it.